Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of CES 2016 right here on Be Terrific. We're an official media partner. We're so proud of that. And you are the Terrifics. You make Be Terrific special. We're high atop Central Hall here at the Las Vegas Convention Center broadcasting live in Las Vegas, Nevada. Soon we'll be live at the Sands as well and we're just having a lot of fun at Be Terrific TV on all social media. And we have a very special guest. You know, this gentleman has invited me to his home in New Hampshire, his company's home because we've had him at our home, the Be Terrific Studios. You love him, you know him, you love the company. Well, we couldn't get to New Hampshire, so we brought New Hampshire to us. And I cannot thank you enough, Tom, for coming on here at CES. I promise we'll get to New Hampshire soon. You know, uh, I spent a little time off air in the month of December unexpectedly, so we had to rearrange some things, and unfortunately we didn't make it before the end of the year, but we will come soon. I can't wait to show the Terrifics the process that Brookstone has for finding products, for creating products, and all that stuff. How has CES been for Brookstone? CES has really been a lot of fun. This is where we launch uh, 2016 and some of the new ideas that we think we can bring to the market as we go into the fall period. I've spent most of my time, Michael, in uh, Eureka Park, because that's where all those young entrepreneurs and all that high energy is, so it's been really good. Well, that's what I say. The, my favorite, I love CES. It gets bigger and better every year, but my favorite part of CES is literally Eureka Park, because I think that that's where the future is, that's where all the innovation is, that's where all the excitement is, and I love seeing it. And I love that you are doing like triple duty here. The first thing is you're here representing Brookstone, right. um, getting the word out about what Brookstone is doing with their own brand, with their own products, and then with the products that you're representing that you're now bringing in-house, which we'll get to in a second. You're then uh, obviously talking to probably uh, other companies about buying their products and maybe also places to place Brookstone's brand, like you know maybe outlet stores, uh, department stores, all sorts of other places. You do have your uh, airport stores and your regular freestanding stores as well as the online presence. So that's three things right there, and then you add into the fact that you're looking for new products in an entrepreneurial way. I love that uh, we've talked about this when you came in studio, that you looked at companies that were doing well on Kickstarter and said, we can help you. You're doing great and that's phenomenal, but you don't really know how to manufacture, you don't really know how to distribute, you don't have a customer service platform, and what are you going to do once you fulfill those orders? We'll come in and we'll get involved. You did that with physics beautifully, um, and you did that with the cat ears, and there have been a, a cat ear headphones and a lot of other uh, right. products as well. And I love that, and that's why you're spending some time in Eureka Park. So I, I did spend uh, time in Eureka Park. One of the reasons is we actually took a booth this time uh, in the Indiegogo section. And the reason we did that is uh, Indiegogo is attracting all these young entrepreneurs and founders of businesses looking for the opportunity to come and speak with uh, Brookstone as well as Indiegogo uh, so that they can possibly crowdfund their products but also they're looking for that opportunity to have that manufacturing. We had 2.2 million viewers yesterday. I don't know how many we have today, but. Is there a company you'd like to give, that's, that you saw there, that is young and exciting, that you'd love to just give a shout out to, maybe help them out a little to our viewers right now, our Terrifics who are amazing? You know, I saw the, um, uh, there was a small, the smallest USB uh, phone charger uh, that, I've, uh, that I've ever seen before, yeah. it's a key ring. And uh, I can't remember the name of the company though, so. Well, we'll yeah. have to look for them because yeah, we'll I'll be at the Sands later today and then we'll build another set there tonight and have a full presence there. I will and give you the name. That would be great. And, and, and we will go through Eureka Park. Um, I love, Leaf is a product that came through that process. Uh, they are a way to extend your uh, iPhone memory with a USB at slash lightning dongle. That's right. That uh, it works also now with uh, micro SD cards too. What are some of the companies that you guys have here that you're representing? Is Physics one of them, I believe? That's right, Physics is um, still live in the Brookstone stores. It's been a really strong product for us. We started out with that in November, uh, helped with their pre-orders, and now we've been live sell both in the uh, in stores and, and online. It's been very, very strong. So Physics and is the, uh, the, we have this in the office now, thank you. That's right. Um, you put a, a can of beer or a bottle of beer in, any ounce, uh, up to 64, and you put the top down and you pull the handle back and push the handle forward, just as simple as that, and now you turn any beer into a better beer, and really you're taking something like a Coors Light, they're never going to sponsor us if I keep slamming them like this. <laughs> I did this last time. If you take any beer like a Coors Light, it'll now come out like a craft beer. Yep, and um, they've been out, the physics group has been out doing all these craft beer festivals because there's nothing like the taste test where you can actually pull yes. the handle and, and put the beer in your and mouth. we did so that together, it was phenomenal. Yep, yep, yes, we did. 
So, and the customers are really responding to that product. So it's just going to continue to ramp up as we go into Super Bowl period and you know some of the uh, post-holiday beer drinking opportunities. Have you seen something that really caught your eye? It's maybe not right for Brookstone, but it's something that was amazing at, at around in and around Eureka Park. You know, one of the things that I saw is uh, the ability to uh, actually take a, um, a photo from your smartphone, print it out and then it's augmented reality, so you hover your phone over the picture, wow. and it actually turns the picture, the still, into a movie. I thought this was so cool. So you're loading in your own content, you're loading in your own stills and your own content, I've just never seen anything like this before. That's amazing, so, I love it. Really amazing product. Very, very cool. Um, so, and then Brookstone, I mean, everybody's just got to shop there. It's, it, I tell this story, I'm going to tell it again. I mean, we're standing here, I introduce you to somebody, I said, yeah, this is Tom, he's the CEO of Brookstone. Oh my God, I love that place. You must get that a million times a day. I've always loved Brookstone. There's just something special. Um, it was always, you know, I think you're the only one still standing of the three major right. gadget stores from when I was a kid, but it was always my favorite. And I think it was because one of them was too much tchotchke, right? right? And one of them was too high end. It was not attainable. So you were right in the middle. You didn't have tchotchkes. You had the great stuff at attainable prices, and you always had the vision. And it was just, Brookstone has always stayed true to that. Well, one thing I like to uh, joke about with the group is I don't want to be known as Brookstone, the regifting store. So we spend a lot of time when we're out looking at all these unique products and all these ideas that are coming to market, but to also be sure that they're actually practical, that someone would be proud to own it, they're likely to use it in their home, uh, or to give it to a friend. So that's a big piece of how we actually vet our product when we're deciding what we're going to put into the retail store. How long does it take to find a company like Physics here at Eureka Park and bring them into the Brookstone store? Well, we can do it very quickly. So it depends on where the company is at in their product development. So right. if, they're, if, they're, if they're done, we can bring it in in 30 days. Wow. Uh, on the Cat Ear Headphones, which was another Indiegogo funded project, we were able to move that through tooling, manufacturing, and in-store in 100 days, wow. which is very fast. So it's, it's dependent upon each situation. And, and I mean, that's where you're the mad genius because that's where your strong suits are and that's why you're the CEO of Brookstone. Talk about um, the Brookstone brand and how it's evolved because it has evolved a lot. Well, I'll give you a couple of uh, things. First of all, we have some really great news. On January 1st, we opened up our first Brookstone store in China. Congratulations, in that's phenomenal. Thank you very much. Uh, we're so pleased to have you know, now become an international company uh, and this was a vision uh, of our chairman, Chairman Yuan of, of Sandpower. Uh, the store broke records in terms of what we expected to sell. So we now have a freestanding store in Nanjing, China, and three Brookstone shops within the store. So the Brookstone brand is expanding itself. We've got another really exciting announcement, which is in Salt Lake City, we're opening up a new uh, brand, it's called Carry On by Brookstone. And it's taking that great Brookstone Airport experience and it's taking it into another dimension. That it opens it. up on the 8th of January, so just in a couple of so days. So it's going to be products you can carry on the plane or that you can use to help you carry stuff on the plane. That's right. And I imagine that new suitcase that I love so much, uh, the smart suitcase that you guys have, will be part of that. What do you think of CES and how it's grown over the years? Talk a little bit about that because, I mean, you've been coming here a long time. We have, so you know, what's evolved here, I believe, is this whole notion of how crowdfunding and incubation and acceleration has given inventors yet another path and maybe an easier path to be able to come here to the show uh, and to get their products to market. So in the, in the old days, you know, we would get excited about seeing the big brands, the, 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 the Sonys, and you know, what's the next big screen TV? You know, today, I think how it's evolved is you've got all these startup companies that are here with these great ideas but you know that they actually can get the products to, to market. And, Which and, they and couldn't do it. before. Not so easily. Yeah. Uh, through the product acceleration and incubation, you know, now they know that they can get the help, the support, the guidance, and they can get that product to market. And with the ARIA here, they can meet investors and potential investors and stuff. That's it's right. really tremendous. Um, what do you see as the biggest trend at CES? I mean, you're an expert. You, you know better than anybody. What are the biggest trend, what is the biggest trend here this year at CES? Well, I see two or three. The, the one that I really see having broken out this time is virtual reality and augmented reality. Huge. Yeah. And I think this is going to have application not only for product, I was describing the little uh, camera. Uh, sure. that, the, We've got a uh, 360 camera right here. Absolutely We're right. Big We're big into it. We're demo demoing one in the booth. Um, so this is going to have commercial purposes as well as product purposes. I think it's, it's come of age and this is now where it's finally going to find its way into consumer product. But I think in the next couple of years, Michael, I think you're going to just see this absolutely explode. Well, because unlike 3D, there's a real use case for it, or a use study for it. It's fun, it's engaging. Yes, you have to put a headset on, at, at least at this point, 
Uh, sometimes, you don't really. I mean, you can still just do it on the phone and move around. But it's, it's got a real purpose and application it as does. opposed to just consuming the content in a different way. The other thing that I think uh, it continues to explode is sensors. You know, we all know Fitbits and, you know, and those practical applications, but this is really exploding into other categories. One thing that's, of course, of interest to Brookstone because of our wellness and massage area is getting a better sleep. And there's all this sensor technology that's come into your bedroom, into your bed to you know, kind of monitor you know, how you're sleeping and then to give you advice on how to get a better night's sleep. So this whole area of sensors is really well, I think really that any product that can make us healthier and better, and I love that movement, I've been talking about that as a trend, and it's a great movement, not just giving me something that tracks, giving me something that tracks and then tells me what to do with it and makes my life better, easier, and more healthy is really, really important. And I think we're trying to, you know, last year we were trying to figure out what to do with all this data, and now we're right. figuring out what to do with this data. Speaking of, uh, can I show you a product? Yeah, please. This is a great company. This is a company called Bedgear. Ah. They're uh, an advertiser with us, but you were talking about sleep. One of the reasons I've been able to get a good night's sleep here in Vegas, and it's, it's about not only the quantity, but really the quality of your sleep, is because of the technology they pack in these pillows. And they use all sorts of technologies. You feel this is a very hot room, right? We've got these lights, how cool right. is that pillow? That's nice. And it's cool, right? Yep. It's not hot. Yep. It's got a lot of great patented technologies, um, including uh, AirX right here to vent the air. You've got dry tech to wick moisture and keep you uh, cool. And you've got a lot of great um, technology inside the Vortex uh, foam, and it's hyperallergenic too. It's really great stuff. They do something called the Pillow ID. Oh. So you can go get custom fit for your own pillow based on your frame size, the way you sleep, and the body temperature you have. And so you can get a much better quality night's sleep I don't know, you know, I'm a connector. Maybe I can make an introduction. It's okay. something that maybe should be in Brookstone. Well, I would love to meet these guys, and does that mean if I mention your name, I'll get a better price? Not only a better price, but you also could get, maybe you, I could hook you up with a free pillow so you can get a better <laughs> night's sleep. Yeah, yeah. You, that sounds so, good. <laughs> that, that's a deal. I will like hook a, you up with them. Look, we're doing, this is what CES is about, doing Absolutely business. Absolutely right. That's what we're we here to do. We just did business. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. I'll introduce you to those guys. They're Thank good you. people. Um, and, uh, and then what's the third trend? So we got two trends you got. The first one is the VR. The right. second one is the health and wellness and the tracking. Yeah. And I love that you can put sensors. There's a company called MC10 that literally can put a sensor on your skin. Mm -hmm. They'll put it in a football helmet, track the concussion, the, the impact. Yeah, that, that's really changing our lives, yeah. this whole sensor trend. And, and I think that we're going to have a great time with that one at Brookstone as we continue to not only expand out our wellness programs, but in every aspect of how we do business at Brookstone. Um, the third one, and, and this isn't really a new trend, but what I'm seeing is drones continue to expand in terms of their importance. But what I think the next generation is, is the quality of the digital photography. You know, we knew that uh, in the drone space there was going to be a lot of changes, and in some instances prices were coming down. But we're seeing explosion at the upper end now. Right. right? And the quality of the camera that's coming out. So DJI has the Inspire One with their own camera, interchangeable lenses. You can do 4K, raw video, color correct, all of that stuff. That's right. Pro Drones was on here yesterday. They can carry a full DSLR on a $1,200 uh, Pro Drone uh, drone. With, it's $1,200 with the right. three axis gimbal that'll hold a DSLR with a lens or a uh, A7S from Sony, 4K video raw again, and that one folds into a, uh, folds into itself to fold into a bag. It's kind of amazing, and you're right, getting better images. We saw today Felix Lighting come on, and they have lights that go on the drones. You can use it for lighting, or you can use it with the camera to light what the camera's shooting. So. I think you're right. We're seeing, let's get better imagery from these drones. Let's use the purpose. I mean, that's really the best purpose. They're no longer a toy, so it's a good yeah. point. Yeah, exactly right. And, and we've got to you know, tell all of our viewers uh, here and people that we talk to, you know, be responsible with your drones as well because there's so much written about drones being flown around airports, and, and this is such great technology, again, that can change our lives, but people have to be safe and be I smart. couldn't agree with you more. I think I told you this, but I was the moderator of the FAA panel on drones between the FAA, we had the chairman of the FAA on, with the guy who's the head of the Pilots Coalition lobbying on behalf of pilots, drone pilots in Washington, and we had uh, somebody from DJI on, and that was at the FAA convention, and all I preached was safety and pushed it towards safety, and every review I've ever done, I've always talked about safety and the importance from the very beginning I realized, wow, this is great. It could be a great tool, but it could also be very dangerous. Yeah, no, so important. Yes, so uh, I think you're right. And I also see the connected cars, the uh, green technology for cars, and, uh, and, and using electric instead of gas for cars and all sorts of other vehicles, but also getting your car more connected and, more, and safer. 
uh, even for people who have existing vehicles, making it easier to take a leased car that doesn't have it, uh, the technology taking out the OEM, put in something else, take that out, put it back in without doing damage to the car and then being able to return the car. I see that as a big trend and I love that too. Uh, it's been wonderful to have you on. I hope you come on again soon and uh, we will come to New Hampshire, I promise you. Thank you for the invite. Michael, I look forward to that and um, thank you uh, for allowing me to talk to your viewers once again. It's oh, such it's, a pleasure to be here. It's been fun yeah. and enjoy the rest of CES. That's Tom from uh, Brookstone. Go to brookstone.com. Go to brookstone.com. Go to brookstone.com. We'll be back with a whole lot more right after this.